Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new development training course on Dynamic 365 Business Central. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can sign up for Dynamic 365 Business Central online. First step to open your browser and look for try and sign up Business Central online. Here on the landing page, you can find three different scenarios by which you can apply for trial version. So for this video, I am going to use first scenario where I can use my work account to sign up for 30 days free trial of Business Central. Here on this page, you can read all the information provided by MSDN, but a quick look, click on here for create a Business Central environment. Here by default, Dynamics 365 Business Central app is selected. So here I entered my work email and then now entering my phone number. And after this, I can click on get started for continuing the signing process. So here it's saying, thank you for joining the Dynamic 365 Business Central. Accept it, just click on next. And here you are all set. Now just click on the get started button. So this will try to authenticate you and look for is your work account is eligible for it. If it is eligible and you are a Microsoft partner or using Office 365 Business Central, then successfully you will sign up to a Business Central landing page. And this is the Dynamic 365 Business Central online preview where you can do different kind of development customization by your own and uh, a lot of things everything is here you can do your testing you can sign up for anything here you can also look for sandbox container for your development purpose yeah it is available uh, here on the top of box pop-up you can click on create to create a sandbox but i will create in a later video so I hope you understand now how you can sign up for Dynamic 365 Business Central online using your work account. But if you have your own domain, then you are also able to apply for Dynamic 365 Business Central online. If you don't know how to do it, you can find another video in the description below. In that video, I already explained it, the complete process. So before doing anything, let's create a sandbox environment in the next video and follow the development. Thank you.